Prana and Pooja, who are from uh, Dr. Karthik's uh, NACU at Manipal Hospital, and they are here to have a quick uh, demo of uh, suction and uh, precautions. We had the discussion earlier on suction as well. So uh, you can go ahead and explain. Good evening, everyone. Today I'm going to explain regarding suctioning. Before suctioning, it's uh, before suctioning, it's everything is the hand washing procedure. You have to follow it, and after hand washing with the clean gloves, or uh, and you need to connect the suction catheters and keep it first. Okay, instead of touching the baby from the suction bottle to the suction and the catheter with the sterile, you have to connect and keep it. Okay, then uh, with the help of the baby is in only in the mask. If the baby is on CPAP, you can be able to do it. You can wear the hand gloves next. Then you can use the suction as we can use in the orally 5 centimeters. Okay, first mouth, then the nose. You need to suction the mouth first, then the nose. Okay. Yes, mouth first is in the labor room. Okay, so when you're doing it in the NICU, you would not do the mouth first because the mouth is more colonized. You shouldn't ideally use the same catheter. No, sir. Maybe, maybe different catheters. Yeah, you should specify that. Okay. okay. Mouth. Yes, only one is only one. Huh? So oral and nasal suctioning can do. When the ET suctioning you have to do, you have to measure the ET to measurement. You have to, if it is fixed at 14, you can go deeper by plus or plus one and do the suctioning in a sterile technique. Two te technique you can do it with the help of the doctors and suction can be helped. When we are removing, it has to be uh, removed in a rotatory manner. So suctioning should not go less than uh, 15 seconds. Yeah. More than 15 seconds. <laughs> Obviously, do suction only if essential. So you can look uh, tomorrow. We'll be looking at the graphics as well. So we will explain uh, how you can look at the expiratory uh, flow scalar and assess. I mean, do you use that technique for suction? Yes, sir. If the baby is desaturating more, the retractions are more uh, with the FIO2, it is not increasing. Then we see really the oral secretion. The ET tube also, if any ET block is there by the ventilator settings, you can see it and do for the suction. And uh, remember that excessive sedation causes excessive secretions. If you paralyze the baby, you have more secretions because the baby's own ability to clear is reduced. And obviously, the chest wall rigidity is going to contribute as well to the uh, movement. So avoid excessive sedation if possible. Avoid sedation at all. I mean, that's one of the main advantages of synchronized ventilation. And use uh, suction if needed. Uh, in a non-invasive ventilation, it's very important to maintain appropriate humidity, appropriate size of the fixing devices. Make sure it's fixed without any pain or discomfort because a baby in discomfort is going to cry more. Use more KMC. Uh, kangaroo mother care is going to help the baby settle down. So the less agitated the baby, the better for these aspects. And keep using saline drops, but don't suck it out unnecessarily. And don't do deep suction unless you feel the airway is not patent. So uh, uh, thank you. Both. One more thing. For each time suctioning, the catheters should be different. You should not use the same catheters. Unless it's inline suctioning, in which case it's a closed system. So you will reuse it. But it is kept in a sealed envelope, uh, sealed uh, sheath. So in line, you have to make sure it's also pulled out to the right level. You can't leave it in because then it will cause airway obstruction. The suction, when you connect in the in line, they should be off always. Otherwise, that pressure will be going. Of course, if you decide to use inline suctioning, you need to get the company to come and demonstrate and teach your staff because inline suctioning is not easy to comprehend unless you are doing it. Consider doing it. Cost will be a factor. But of course, uh, where you have very sick babies, at least the ones on high frequency, consider using inline suction. So uh, thank you both. Uh, we